So these are the results that we took when we looked at the density of different objects. And now what we're going to be doing is developing our math skills where we're going to be looking at calculating the volume of a cylinder. And then we're going to be doing some unit conversion and maybe using standard form as well. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to look at the average value for the diameters. And here I've got my values that I recorded from that last video. And all of them are times 10 to the minus 3 because we're going from millimetres to metres. So to work out the average, it's going to be 23.31 plus 23.14 plus 23.47 divided by 3 to give an average value of 23.31 millimetres, which is therefore 23.31 times 10 to the minus 3 metres. OK, now when it comes to working out the volume of a cylinder, it's going to be equal to the cross-sectional area, which is pi r squared, times the height of that cylinder, or in this case, the length. So it's pi r squared L. So that's going to be pi multiplied by the radius. Now up here we have the diameter. So the radius is going to be equal to 23.31 times 10 to the minus 3 divided by 2, because we've got half the diameter is the radius. That's going to be squared. And then we're going to multiply that by the length, which is 0 0.098 of a metre. So to work this out, we're going to do 23.31 times 10 to the minus 3. We're going to divide that by 2. We're going to square that. And we're going to multiply this value by pi times 0 0.98, which gives me a value of 0 0.0000418. So that's equal to 4.18 times 10 to the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 10 to the minus 5 metres cubed. Now to work out the density, the density is equal to the mass divided by the volume. So here the density is going to be equal to the mass over the volume, which was 0 0.0262 kilograms, divided by this value here, 4.18 times 10 to the minus 5. So I'm going to leave this value in my calculator, and I'm going to do 0 0.0262 divided by this answer, which equals 626.47 which is 630 kilograms per cubic metre, so kgm3. So 630 kilograms per cubic metre is a density of wood, and that's actually kind of what we'd expect. It's going to be less than 1,000, which is the density of water, and that means wood is less dense than water, so it floats. So that's the first one, quite involved mathematics. Now for the second one, the first thing I'm going to do is convert this volume from millilitres into cubic metres. Now it says down here that one millilitre is one centimetre cubed, which is 0 0.000001 metres cubed, which is also the same as saying 1.0 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic metres. So this value here is also 21 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic metres, which could also be written as 2.1 times 10 to the minus 5. So when it comes to working out the density, that's equal to the mass divided by the volume, which is 0 0.0004 divided by 2.1 times 10 to the minus 5. So a small number divided by a really small number. And this gives a value equal to 19 kilograms per cubic meter. So we can see the density of polystyrene is a lot less than wood, as we'd expect, and pretty much that pretty much floated on the water. And finally, we've got the sugary water. Again, the volume is 230 millilitres. So that's 230 times 10 to the minus 6 cubic meters, which is 2.30 times 10 to the minus 4. And again, density is going to be this mass divided by that volume. So 0 0.2522 divided by 2.30 times 10 to the minus 4. And then again, if I just use my calculator, this gives a value of 1096.5. Um, so to three significant figures, uh, that would be um, 1100 kilograms per cubic meter. 
which again is kind of what we'd expect. Because it's got the sugar dissolved in it, it's gonna have a slightly higher density than normal water. So this one here is 1,100 kilograms per cubic meter.